everybody. Boone Wyatt with a 323 Concept Furniture Restoration here. Um, you are watching the 323 vlog, and I just wanted to do a quick video demonstration on our simple steps to recaining a chair. Uh, there's about 10 different steps, so bear with us, and we're going to go through them real quick. Um, it's just a quick four-minute video, and if you've got any questions at the end, feel free to let us know. As always, I'll leave a description in the link of our video um, where you can find the tools that we use and the materials um, but without further ado let's jump right in and see how we go about it thanks y'all all right so to get started we're gonna mark um, some areas where i want to drill into the caning spline and i'm just going to use a drill bit the size of the spline which in this case i believe was 3 16 followed up by putting a little bit of steam in there. And as you see, it's coming out all the holes, which is what we want. We wanna get steam in there to loosen up the glue residue. Um, once we do that, and I highly recommend that step, it makes it a whole lot easier to get the spline out. Um, but once we get that loosened up, um, I go around, score along the outside edge with my box cutter. And that just sort of helps your wood not to split or crack. Sometimes that wood glue sticks real good to it. And if you're not careful, it can it can break some of the show wood um, as you're taking it out. So um, just going around all four edges with my caning chisel and my hammer and getting uh, the caning out. And um, just going around with the, the chisel itself at the very end, making sure those, those grooves are completely cleaned out. That is going to be really important once you get ready to install your, your caning. You don't want anything... Uh, any residue or debris left in that groove. So the better you clean it, the, the better outcome you're going to have. So um, I'm just going to finish that step up. And what we do next is mark the centers on the rear and the front. And that's going to help us align our caning, um, you know, once you get ready to put your caning on there. And soak in our caning for about 15 minutes in a large bucket here. That helps loosen everything up. Um, so first I align my rear, get a caning wedge in there to help hold it. Um, and it, here I start trimming all around the four edges and I like to do, you know, leave about an inch uh, along every side. Uh, and I, as you see here, it's moving a little fast, but I remove individual caning strips that aren't gonna be visible and that helps our caning go into the groove a little bit better. And so I usually start, hit my centers and then work out. And then uh, as you see here, I'm finishing up by going around the, the sides. Um, just carefully trimming, uh, making sure that I don't take off any caning that's going to be visible inside the seat. Um, and I'm using those caning wedges, just pushing the caning in all the way around all four edges. And um, you can, you know, I, I recommend having a, about half a dozen of these wedges and you can put them in as you go and leave them if you want. And that just sort of helps hold it in place. So now we are ready to install our caning spline. And I did the same thing with it. I soaked it for about 10-15 minutes and obviously you saw there I was putting in some wood glue. That's going to help hold our spline in. And we start in the rear center and I use um, the caning wedge and my hammer to tap down our caning spline and that helps hold it in. And if you need to, you can use a couple trim nails. I use a 5-8 inch uh, brad nailer to hold that in sometimes. Um, but usually if you order the right size spline, you shouldn't have any issues with the, with the spline holding in place. But if you do, uh, a couple 5-8 inch nails aren't going to hurt it. So we're on our last step here. Unless you damage something and have to go back and do wood touch up, this should be your last step where you go around with a nice sharp chisel. And uh, just carefully as you're, you know, you're obviously going up against the show wood. So you want to be very careful not to damage your show wood. But just put a little bit of pressure uh, up against the leftover caning. And it should just, uh, if you have a good sharp chisel, should take them right off. And that should be our last steps. And just wanna thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to get future updates on videos. And we'll see y'all next time.